Ooh, I wonder if this is gonna come back around to the uh, the shortcut room again. Like maybe we'll find the key and then this will be a uh, an even easier to access shortcut. I don't know. You can't help it, you're just too high on the blood. <laughs> is it gonna go up? I, don't, I just, I want the key so I know I'm not gonna miss it or forget it or not get in there and get the loot. I want the loot. There are some really nice Crimson Court DLC trinkets that you can get on these missions and I would like to find them. Maddening wine. Infallible servitude. So you got the guard and you move to the back. Okay, the Jester, I mean, you've got pretty good accuracy as a base. You have 15 accuracy up over the Leper, but you gotta still land some of these hits at some point, my friend. And that's just a straight up miss. Maybe we should open up with the accuracy up from the Jester. We just got two misses, which is not ideal. I wish I had upgraded it now, but at least it's a level four ability. How quickly the tide turns. How quickly? That's the first time we got crit in a million years. I'm okay with that. How quickly the tide turns and you get hit for one tenth of your HP. I'm still gonna go for the bleed though. It's so, so such good value. Is Maddening Wine like what's in the Skeleton Priest's Tempting Goblet? <laughs> no, that's the blood. Maybe it's this blood, though. The blood, the blood! Uh, go for the stun. Dude, look at these characters. They look so horrible. Giant bug eyes, and they're going yip 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 yip. So creepy. That's the black blood. The black blood from the uh, Indiana Jones, right? 135. Go for the stun. Oh my God. We. Maybe I should be doing the. Accuracy buff from the Jester a little bit more. I mean, it would last for four rounds, but I really like opening up with that bleed on turn one to just, you know, maybe get a unit killed on the first turn. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. I mean, I'm not going to do it now because, oh, that's never going to work. I'm not going to do it now because I'm just going to be focusing on stress relief. There we go, nice crit. Now with only her left alive, I don't know what she's gonna do. She has a lot of skills, you can see them in the bottom corner. You know, I guess we could just say you can't do anything. Keep her stunned forever. We do need to do some more stress heals, and luckily we can. And we only have to hit her for three. That could be this right here. Yep. Dude, I, I will say, even though he has a, a pretty decent chance at missing, he also has a pretty good chance at hitting with these abilities, and he has an insane chance of stunning. It is pretty freaking good. Pretty freaking sweet. You haven't seen one of those courtesans of bloodlusted in a while. I don't think I've had one get to the bloodlust stage yet. Also, of course, we drop the emerald and then we pick up an emerald. Okay, you know what? Get out of here. Yeah, I don't think I've let one get bloodlusted. They have not thirsted on me yet. Or thirsted and succeeded, I don't think. You know, I'm trying to keep them stunned and locked down specifically so I don't have to deal with them. It's kind of on purpose. The blood, I must have the blood. Oh my god. People in your blood. 
I'm the fear I will drink for my enemies. I will also say, the previous Crimson, the previous, the previous Crimson Court mission we went on, we didn't find a lot of blood. This mission we have found so much blood, it's actually kind of stupid. Is this the new zone? Um, I would say kind of yes. So the upper zone here was a lot of like twisting passages and then it looped back to the locked room. And now we're kind of off exploring a little new section here that's full of nice orderly rooms connected with straight line hallways. So it's, it kind of does feel like a new zone, a new area to me anyways. I hate that he's in the back doing maddening wine. I can't hit him from there. I might go for Battle Ballad. You know, I think actually the Jester ability could get a KO. Yeah, that's a KO. So I'm glad we did that instead, honestly. We did miss with the Occultist, but not every shot's gonna land. I shouldn't be so worried about an occasional miss. You know what? A victory. Perhaps a turning point. <laughs> Perhaps a turning point in this epic length mission. Another chest. I wonder what this one's gonna have. Hopefully a key. You know what? Let's go for the accuracy buff this time. Um, that's two speed, but his speed is still 10. There's his 12, he's probably not gonna go first. Go for the stun. You know, it's tempting to wanna to open up with the Jester move, but we'll do that Battle Ballad first. We'll see what happens. Don't, don't the keys have a different chest? I guess you're right, it's a, a chest with a red gem on it. Those are the special chest. So this is probably just gonna be loot, unfortunately. Midnight Min Wet. Well. They got shuffled. Is it really just always front to back, back to front? Two good dodges. We That didn't increase our dodge, did it? <laughs> I don't think so. At least we have a nice, better hit chance now that we use that Jester ability. Stop it. She's not quite dead though, but you know what? A Jester shot will get her on the next turn. We should do a... Actually, you know what we should do? Get a KO. Fantastic. Ah, it courses through my veins. Four stress relief. Oh, thank you. I like it when we get the positive result of being bloodlusted instead of, I'm gonna stress out everybody. Which is always the worst. Dude, everyone's at full health. We only have one person with stress, now they're gonna have 21 stress. This party can get it done. I think as long as we're not fighting Wolf again, <laughs> or the Hag, this is the party I'm gonna want on most missions. So, Sapphire, I'm gonna drop a stack of gold for it, and I know this, this is less money, but we have a chance of it stacking higher, and I'm gonna run the chance. Because again, this is gonna be a long ass freaking mission. Immediately pays for itself. <laughs> I love it. Mm. 
let Gabe welcome. You went out late, took a nap, and you're late for the stream. Well, you did miss the gungeon, unfortunately. I usually start with it, but we're just gonna be playing some Darkest Dungeon now. We're in the courtyard mission, the super long one. It's gonna go kill the Viscount, hopefully. So they're surprised. I am the Blood God. I think that's stress relief, but he didn't didn't have any stress. Ah, yes, my blood it courses through my veins like it should. <laughs> you know, I didn't think about it like that, but you're totally correct. Let's go for the battle ballad. I want the leopard to hit. And I want the leopard to hit you. Careless Whispers. We have seen that one before. Just a little bit of stress on everybody. It's not that bad. It's gonna be like 30 or 40 stress total, but that's only like two or three actions out of the Jester, so it's not terrible. Unfortunately, the Cavalier being pushed to the back means I can't hit him. It's really awful because that means he's going to get a turn to actually attack. And we know what he's gonna do. It's gonna be the, um... It's gonna be one of either Buried Blast or Subterranean Skewer, and we know it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But everyone's at full health. We're not gonna get, you know, one hit KO'd unless it crits for 40. Or it's the, uh... I guess it could hit the Leper or the Occultist for 30. They don't have a, a lot of HP. The Vestal is surprisingly tanky. I think this is the Vestal that has, um, hard skin too, yeah. Plus protection. Give it to me, I know you have it. Ow! Minus accuracy for three round, you suck. Is that a KO? No. If we get an another stun, it is a KO though. Or you could just get the KO with the attack, that's fine too. <laughs> I gotta cut my way through the corpses though, at some point. Everyone's still at full health. Okay, that's fine. Now he's pushed up. Now we can go for the stun and recover stress. Come to me, pray. I ah, see he moved forward, which doesn't really matter too much, but it could matter. You know, maybe we have a Hellion up front and we need them to do Iron Swan in the back line. Sometimes that little shuffle is gonna really screw ya. Thanks for stopping by, Let Gabe. Maybe get the Purge ability. Uh, I don't think so. I know it does buff accuracy, it clears corpses, and it does knockback, but I don't really care about that because usually our accuracy is fine enough, and really what's gonna happen is that if we end up fighting the the Crocodilian, I'm going to want to buff, to do the other buff, and then heal myself if I need to. So I think we just stick with what we have. Like, this is an ideal loadout for the Leper. Yeah, I could have Purge, yeah, I could have Hue, and it would clear corpses and such, but t technically we have someone who can do that, the Occultist. But in case we come across the Crocodile, I want to have these abilities. And yes, I could if I wanted to swap out the abilities when I'm walking down a hallway or when I have scouting, but that's just, that's just tedious work that I really don't want to do, because I'd forget and then I go into the fight with the wrong setup. Like, I just want to, I just want to hit things hard and kill them. It's another emerald. Y you know what? Screw it, I'm stacking the emerald. I know we already dropped a few, I don't care. A lot of dinner cards, but we don't need them. Abe will forget. That sounds like him. Yeah, pretty much. So I hate this guy. The Esquire in the back. Skewering repartee. That is incredibly annoying. You have to go. Especially if it crits for like a total of 50 or 60 damage. Midnight Minuet. 
lowers accuracy for one round, which is actually pretty nice. Oh my god, and that's with the buff from the Chester too. <laughs> it's a lot of damage, a lot of bleed. That's incredibly annoying. But he, I don't think he can skewering repartee from the back, or from the front rather. So he's probably not gonna do that again. Now we can focus on healing, I think. And I will use a bandage here. And I will go for a stun on the Riposte Man. Here I will strike. That's fine. It's not fantastic, but it's fine. Honestly, I feel like we should probably do another one of these. I, I have to Dirk Stab to get into position, but we can do it. Gotta buff the accuracy, because if I don't, we're apparently not gonna get a, any kills, so. <laughs> and maybe now I won't even Dirk Stab, I'll just focus on stress. Free digestion. Five. Blight. It's nasty blight. We're fast enough. Go for the lunge. I don't care about four damage. I'm just gonna do the party heal anyways. Okay, stun. Honestly, stun you again. I worry about his damage output is the thing. There we go. Joniak, you unlocked the gunslinger, finally. Ah, she did her, uh, her transformation, finally. She successfully thirsted for blood. The blood. We should probably go before these guys. We can keep her stun locked. We can kill the supplicant with the leper. Focus on healing. Focus on stress relief. Now that the fight is is basically over at this point. You know, we've done what we needed to do. I wish you would stop hitting me, but hey, it's okay. We still have one more turn of buffs for uh, some of these people. I mean, and honestly, the Occultist is doing just fine. He is, he's done a lot of damage to that courtesan who has 47 freaking dodge. Insane. Probably not gonna land. Honestly, I think at this point you want a vulnerability hex to reduce the dodge. Ah, oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. I've been sneezing a lot lately for some reason. Probably allergies. The thirst. Good dodge. And now everyone's health is fine, the stress is pretty decent. And you're dead. Okay. That was a long encounter, a long little hallway here. But we did it. We have a curio that is more wine. And again, I think the wine is just going to be, it's either blood or a camping log if you want it to be. But I don't really care about either. I don't want to use a shovel. We don't need stress relief from the anti-venom. We don't need to open it for loot or for blood. Weirdly enough, this mission is like more loot balanced than the last Crimson Court mission. The last Crimson Court mission, we ran out of stuff so quickly. This one is like, hey, here's a lot of resources during the mission. Well, that would have been nice to have previously. Oh no, you pulled him to the front.
because of 37 dodge. I mean, their dodge is pretty freaking crazy. Unfortunately, they're in position to get hit by a leper. Mud says, I was just thinking, you really should have brought more blood. Yeah, I mean, three stacks would have probably been enough. You know, you just want to, you want to have enough so that nothing would go wrong if the worst happens, you know. You know, you know, you know. And a buff. Make sure that lands. We are going to have one more attack from the Cavalier, but no one's in a horrible situation. Better chance of killing this guy. And we can still do the heal with the Vestal. Now, we do need to clear corpses. Again, I think that we're probably just going to use the um, Occultist for that on this next turn. And then we'll try to get a... No, we should do a party heal. We should do a party heal, just to make sure that we don't die horribly from this encounter, which could happen. And I know I'm stacking that buff up pretty high, but... I want to give the leper as much of a chance as possible of crit killing, which now he can do with a plus 25% damage bonus and 32% crit chance. EDU, you're so good! <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. If there's only one alive, you know, I'm relatively confident that I'm not gonna just die instantly and not have a response to it. But when there's two of them, you know, one could bleed, the other one could stun, crit, and then all of a sudden you're dead. Ah, it courses through my veins. Oh. No reason to do a stress heal now. Okay. 10, 15. 15 is worth doing a stress heal. And we'll go for another, you know, hands from the abyss stun if we have to, but we didn't. Ah! Arbalist only, Crimson Court, unique relic. Plus 15 accuracy, plus 8% crit on a marked target, plus debuff, plus move. I remember my father's kindly eyes. We're gonna get rid of probably... You know, I mean, I'm tempted to get rid of a stack of... blood. And I'm going to. Because I still want money, you know. It's the yellow key of guilt. Can pure regret make the way clear to proceed? What? I might also get rid of a stack of food because we know that there are curios that we can interact with easily to get f food if we need to. This little hallway has like three. Um, so yeah, let's eat. I'll dump a stack of food. Okay. Then we have a secret room. <gasps> It's a crusader! I you did a gratitude. Oh, there he goes. He vanished. I was really hoping to find a highwayman. We haven't been below three stacks. We haven't even used one from these two stacks. We've only been getting more blood, I'm pretty sure. These guys are not very dodge heavy, so I'm gonna go for the offense. That's a kill. Barely, but it is a kill. Oh my god! Who needs the the battle ballad to crit? Does that mean he'll be a good crusader? He'll be like level four, I think. And he'll be fully kitted. We won't have to pay to get him buffed up at all. For equipment or skills. So he's gonna be um he's gonna be really good. I was hoping for a highwayman, but that's okay. Because we need a highwayman. We don't need another crusader. Um, you're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Good 
good. I was a little worried about him having low health, but I figured we could kill the other enemies. Again, they're not that dodge heavy. Dodge of 21. You know, those manservants, they had dodges of like 34 or something. Glad we found me, says Assistance in Border. You really want that name, don't you? <laughs> You know what, that's fine. Oh, you don't even get it! I thought you would just say no to the one thing, but no, you said no to both buffs. You suck. Sedated. All right, 90%. One day that's gonna fail, and I'll be sad, and I hope it doesn't kill me. Eighteen, nine, four. Yeah, stress relief is worth it. I mean, really, how it works is, if anybody has fourteen stress, then we use the stress relief because that's not wasting any potential on it. Thirty-eight. Don't need any of this. Hmm. So we found the yellow key. Haven't found a yellow door. Haven't found the blue key yet. I'm very tempted to like, try to do a camp, but we have a full inventory, we don't need it. And I'm tempted, I'm honestly tempted to go back up here and explore this, because I have a feeling there's gonna be a key up there somewhere <laughs> that opens this blue door and we just missed it. But I don't know, maybe there's gonna be a blue key in here somewhere. Maybe this is like a, a storage room of blood and keys. Oh man. Curious is the trap ah, it's just part. bleed. That's his acceptable. See unwitnessed by his own eyes. I just didn't want it to be more enemies to fight. <laughs> this might just be a big mirror. But again, like, where's the yellow door? I have no idea. If we find the yellow door, we might want to do the backtracking, and then we'll come back to the mission. These guys are not worth the battle ballad. Faded white. That's not a color. All right, well, that's not what I would have chosen. Damsel in distress. Unusually discolored blue. <laughs> Go for the heal. I mean, I guess that's a good time for a crit heal. Yes, it bleed for us. Good resists. And good bleed. Uh, this one is not quite dead, but I kind of... I kind of feel like going for the one up front. If we get lucky, that's a kill. And these guys up front are usually not too bad. I'm more worried about the courtesan who can shuffle, who can throw up guards. Now, that would suck if it hit, you know, strike. the occultist twice, critting him, blighting him, he could die instantly, but... What have you come back to? <laughs> I don't know that one, comedian. I don't know. Gather the blood. When you have the Crimson Curse, that ability is basically just worthless, because it doesn't do anything. It's like, I'm already cursed! You can't curse me again. You're already dead. So go for the stress heal. Then go for the KO. Surprised we managed to recover the stress so quickly, but I guess... 
It only did like 13 damage and like 13 stress or something like that. It's not that bad. Festering fear. Festering fear. Discom discomfortably pale. Discomfortly pale yellow. <laughs> it's not a color either. No one needs stress relief. And you, you're like the one unit I want to have the accuracy buff with, you stupid Crimson Curse piece of garbage. There you go, now it's passive. Thank you. <laughs> mud the party pooper. The party pooper mod. Mod, party pooper mud mod. You know, we have not used a single medicinal herbs. There we go. I like actually getting an extra bandage from that. Let's do it again. It's a lot of food. Waiting to be spent. Okay, good enough. Okay, so here's the thing. We're probably, oh my God, everyone's craving the blood. See, you can go through blood pretty quickly. We're probably about to find a yellow door. So I think I'm gonna find the yellow door and then backtrack for the blue key. Because I want to get the, the blue key and see what's in that blue room. Weakened. That's such a weird thing. It's like, yeah, you're you're debuffed, or yeah, you got bled for a little bit. Weakened. It's like, dude, chill. I know, I'm weak. The stun. <laughs> I feel like that one guy in chat is just trying to get Mud to ban him. He's just trying to push his luck. Mud is a, is, Mud has a, a strict hand. You step out of line and he'll ban your ass. Yes, bleed for us. I'm gonna keep bleeding him with the Jester. I need someone who can actually output damage if the leper is gonna miss every hit. I can deal with stress later on an easier fight. You're not dead. Compassion is a rarity in the Compassion is a rarity in the field. Okay, get the sock out of your mouth, Wayne June. Oh. I know I should be using the leopard ability and I should be buffing accuracy, but at the same time, he could just, you know, not miss. <laughs> Four damage, if I hit you, if I hit you, you are, you are dead. You are dead as well. Okay, everyone's dead. We're except for us. We're fine. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. I was talking about compassion, uh, and I'm just gonna. What is the highest crit chance that's not going to do damage? Oh, I was hoping we'd get a heal. That's fine. Hey, you know what? More sapphires. Four thousand. In one stack, I'm happy with that. Now let's get some more rubies and gemeralds now. Where the hell is the yellow? I, 
I'm gonna backtrack. You know what? I'm gonna backtrack to that hallway to try to get the blue key at this point. I want to know what's in that that door. I feel like I'm missing something if, if I'm not gonna do that. And on the way back, we can interact with curios and, and loot them. But I want to know. Maybe this is the wrong move. I don't care. We're gonna do it. Just so you know, Hellboy got a 9% rotten tomato meter rating. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Supposed to have been a good movie? Guess not. We have to go through a lot of spaces to get around there. It's probably gonna cost us a lot of blood, but if it does, it does. We'll hope to find more. You know, there's actually a lot of areas down here where we can farm the blood. A lot of curios to interact with, so maybe we'll do that on the way back. Fredacula says, I, I was close to the uh, yellow door. Eh. It's fine, I'll just get rid of, you know, the stack of gold. The stack of 1,750 gold. Or the stack of food, because maybe we'll, we'll hunger before we get to the, uh, the key. I'm assuming that there's going to be a blue key in this hallway, but it might just be nothing. And if it's nothing, we're going to have to backtrack again for no reason except for room battles. And if, if, it's that, if that's what happens, that's what happens, you know? At least there's no combat that seems to be spawning, so we are just kind of going through this quickly. But the, the longer we go, the more our people get blood starved. We've got to be careful. And of course, every room is one stress. One. Every tile, rather, is one stress. One. One. There we go. We did have a little bit of extra spawning room combat here, but that's okay. That's annoying. I don't want to die here. You're not going to die here. I just need you to move before anyone else moves, and unfortunately you didn't. I mean, this is annoying. I'm going to do a battle ballad. We're going to kill the unit in the front as quickly as possible, and then we're going to have the Vestal... You know, I'm going to have the Vestal go for a stun. It did land, thank god. And we killed a unit. That's not bad. We got shuffled and we killed a unit. The stun on the healer is not... Fantastic. <laughs> I could also just go for like a couple of Dirk stabs, but I want to get the occultist into a position where he can do his stunning move. So I think you just go for more battle ballads. We're not doing anything, but I kind of feel like it has to happen, right? You know, slowly deal with the enemies. Hopefully get some KOs. That's a good hit. Not quite a kill. But at least he did a very, very small amount of damage. Okay, we have to heal, though. This is looking extremely scary. A dizzying blow to body and we have bandages, we have anti-venom. Ah, but I can't... I can't do anything. <laughs> Like, now I can move. I know, I know. I know. Now we can move, but this Cavalier, he's gonna get a turn, and if he gets a, uh, a hit in that blights one of these two units, they could die. That is a bleed attack. Bleed, rather. He's bleeding and on death's door. Just because I tried to move. So hopefully he doesn't die, but oh, thank God, the Vestal went first. The wounds of war can be healed, Luckily, when you're in death's door, you have a reduction in speed. 
That was extremely freaking scary. <laughs> Okay, bandage up, my friend, stun. Like, that's why you gotta stun this Cavalier, because that bleed, it seems like it lands every single time. And now that we've gotten tempo on these stuns, we can chain stun him, we can kill the supplicant up front, we can heal, we can stress heal. Like, now we're fine. But when we're not in the correct party position, it's a little scary. In fact, no, no, we should keep the Occultus Warriors. I was thinking maybe we could, like, move around and put the Occultus up front so that we can get the stun out, but it's probably more important to have the, the Leper up front for the damage, right? Whew. That was, uh, that was close, though. That was not fun. Should have probably gone for the Corpse Clear. You know what I'm gonna do instead? Revenge. Bleed on the back line, on the back jester. I'm okay with that. We can we can heal him easily. And now we can just like chain stun again. Cause the stun resistance wore off. Which is fine. Wash in Crimson, I am reborn. More stress. That's not bad. As long as the stun lands, we don't even need to kill with the, uh, the leper. I don't want to. I don't know if this is gonna count for... Uh, for stalling, it probably will, but you know what, honestly? I don't care. We're recovering. We will recover! It, it doesn't seem to count as stalling. I must be doing enough moves that are attacks that it's not counting, or maybe in the Crimson Court DLC it doesn't count anything as stalling. I don't know. Maybe it's the enemy. Maybe it's something. Either way, now we're fine. Minus, of course, that now he has minus accuracy, damage, speed, and plus stress for the remainder of the quest. But that was the most difficult fight we had. Just due to, like, random RNG. Very unfortunate. Yeah, so, Importer, there is some anti-stalling mechanics in the game because the stress heal, the heal is so strong. Okay, we just used a lot of blood quickly. That um, the game doesn't want you to just constantly stall, stun enemies, heal up to full for every encounter. But usually, oh, I didn't put everyone in the correct places, that's fine. But usually, um, it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, if we find a wine crate, maybe we want to use that now. Okay. Usually you can get like one or two good turns to, to heal, to stress relief yourself, and then you gotta kill the enemy, but... We were able to get a lot done there. Uh, I'm extremely worried, by the way, because they're both, the Esquires are both at the back and they can do skewering repartee. And that makes me very afraid because that's a heavy damage, heavy bleed, everyone. This is better, <laughs> thank you. Shuffle them around to the front, please. Oh my God. I'll stun him. The only one doing damage here is the frickin' occultist. Yeah, so it seems like he wants to be in the back, and then from the back he'll skewering repartee forward, so we gotta be very careful here. Two squire, yeah. Stalling re results in stress, 
it results in reinforcements coming. Both of those things. I'll keep him stunned. Hey, it's damage. Thank you. This guy is dead in one turn, but I have to kill him. No, I don't. You can kill him. You don't think these guys know how to use lipstick very well. <laughs> yeah, they kind of did mess it up a little bit, didn't they? So this is probably Skewering Repartee, Heavy Damage, Heavy Bleed. As long as it doesn't crit the occultist, bleeding him and killing him, I'm happy with it. Man, I'm not able to bleed you. There goes my last bandage. I think it's worth doing there. You know, we're in a, we're in a rough spot. Until we heal up a little bit. I would like to pick up more bandages at this point, but we'll have to find them. There we go. Why couldn't you just crit hit like four turns ago, my friend? The repost is annoying when it's not on our side. Really, that repost, it does so little damage, it doesn't really matter to me. It's the, uh... It's the actual damage from the skewer and repartee and the fact that it also inflicts bleed and it can crit for insane damage output. Like, that is just, I hate it. A momentary abatement. A momentary abatement. These guys still have horror. Try to get a little bit of stress relief done. I will take as long as it takes here. And this courtesan is just gonna have to eat it. I am lost in the throes of its ecstasy. You did a debuff. That was not good, but you know what? You, you allow me to stall for another turn thanks to that. So maybe it's all for the best. You want this guy to voice over your life. Pay him to, to record some stuff for you. Wayne June. Lovecraftian horror expert voice actor. We're not getting any um, barks indicating that we're delaying, so honestly, I'm like, why would I not just keep stalling over and over and over and over again. Reducing stress, healing up. Why do we tarry and invite danger? Ah, we finally got one and it gave us stress, so now we do have to kind of end this. We can end this. The game let me get a lot of healing out of that, that's okay. Thank you. Open the chest. It uses, it's the blue freaking key! We've done it. Are often low on supplies. Now, I am gonna finish this hallway. We're here, we might as well, and we'll pick, pick up more loot, we'll heal off of that. But we can go and open up that blue door and see what was inside of it. And if it's a crocodile, well, I will be scared. Get a little bit of stress relief while we're here. Ooh. So it's not quite just like a, a, a pure loop. There's a little thing here. Actually, wait a minute. Let's go down first. This seems special. I'm very curious what this is. Room battle with Curio. Let's take a look. It is the crocodile. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm scared. 
Battle Ballad. Okay, we gotta pull. Or do we? Should we start with the vulnerability? He has two actions per turn. Start with the pull. Get him into a position where we can smack him. This is where it gets scary. This guy is a son of a gun. Withstand. We're gonna buff our damage dealer and then we're gonna try to we're gonna try our best to stun this guy and keep him locked down. Plus 55 dodge after submerge. That means he's gonna open up with a big attack. Unless we can stun him. Go for it. Oh, we hit, but we didn't stun. That's okay. Dude, honestly, accuracy up. This guy has 88 dodge right now. We need it. So a stand. There's a uh, revenge. We're gonna go for the stun. 40% chance of landing. He dodged it. That's okay. Apex Predator, big hit on the back line, 36 on the Occultist. He's not on death's door, but we need a turn, like right now. <laughs> God damn, that attack sucks. Teeth rake. It could bleed. Good freaking dodge, my friend. Good dodge. Now, keep that battle ballad going. Make sure we can land those stuns. 95% chance of landing, 100% chance of applying the stun. Thank you, Occultist, finally, doing your job. Vestal, heal. Like you've never healed before. Leper, chop him up. 42% chance of critting. There's 58 damage right there. Now, don't stop. Dude, stop hitting the Occultist. You have to stop hitting the Occultist. I will taste you. It's over for us. You're gonna be fine, just do not bleed, and please, for the love of God, stop hitting the Occultist. Over and over and over again, no thank you. I do not want you to hit my Occultist, friend. Lurking Fear, it's not a hit on the occultist, I love it. Now it is a damage up, but we can stun him. EDU com. Crit for 58. I need you to, to crit for more. Uh, we have high accuracy. I'm gonna go for the attack, for the bleed. He... Okay, we hit him. We, he, we dodged the, uh, the, or the cattail dodged rather. 19, low end, but that's fine. Stun. Pretty decent chance of landing. I'm gonna go for Weakening Curse instead for the damage down. Because he didn't get an action before our turn, our uh, stun, I'm just gonna reduce his damage output. Still in a very dangerous position, though. We have to keep people healed up. That crit on the Occultist in turn frickin' one and a half really screwed me up, though. Plus 50, no, 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 he lost the damage upgrade, so he's gonna have the damage downgrade on his turn. That's good, believe it or not. He's hard to hit, I'm gonna go for the buff. It's a good idea, I think, to get that battle ballad, because it means that I can buff when I can't hit him. 57% chance of landing, it's actually really good. It's fine. I needed that to land, thank you. And now we're gonna do a heal on the Occultist, and all of a sudden, we're like actually able to heal from this, except not quite, because the Jester is now on death's door. God damn. Dude, this crocodile critting me from full health down to zero is a pain in the ass. And, and this is with me stunning him every other turn. Good lord. There's 45 damage. Only need two more hits from that, from that leopard. We got him. You got pulled to the front. That is quite possibly the worst thing that could have happened. 
that is actually horrible. We might have to just like retreat from combat because I can't stun and I can't heal. Wow, I mean, that's just like the, the worst thing. People could die right here. Dude, I, I have to reduce his damage output, right? Or do I go for the move? Or do I retreat from combat? If I go for the move, I can start stunning again. But if I don't reduce his damage, he's gonna get a couple nasty attacks. But he's gonna he's gonna bring us down to death's door anyways. He's gonna fucking crit. I have to I have to move so I can stun next turn. He went for submerge instead of Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Yes, behold the power of the stars. Minus 18 stress. Thank you. Battle ballad, please. Dude, just hit the leper, please. That's all I want from this crocodile. Hit the leper! It did hit the leper, Injury but it also hit the stage for heroism. occultist for insane damage. Dude, we have to leave after this fight. And our speed is insane, but... Crit for 68! Thank you, Leper! You have to stun him. It's worked! That basically meant that you live, my friend. <laughs> Teeth rake, stop bleeding. A hand's breadth from becoming the occultist. Unborn. Resolve is tested. He's powerful. He doesn't give a crap about you, you stupid freaking crocodile. What's the speed of the the Vestal? Sixteen. What's his speed? Fourteen. Thirteen. He could still die. We need the Vestal to move first. If he dies to bleed, I'm gonna be pissed, but there's nothing really I can do about it. 23, that's not enough. He died, he died because of bleed, because he just keeps getting fucking crit by the crocodile. I hate this stupid crocodile. I hate him. Dude, I, I hate this crocodile so much. Get 68, god damn it. <laughs> he, he just he pulls you around, bleeds you, and just crits for he crits three people for 25 or 30 damage. It's stupid. But we killed him. Unbound Hades, yeah, his soul is now unbound from his body. Oh god damn. We did get a flagellant only trinket. We're gonna start dumping stuff, because we are leaving. And we're gonna open this up. More garbage. Well, I mean, we're, we're taking it all, so dump the food. This is fine. Leave. Regroup. We fall so that we may learn to pick Dude, that's so annoying. Again. Like, it's heal, 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 stun, 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 and he still just crits you for 38 damage and bleeds you and puts you on death's door and moves you to the front, and then you go before your, your healer, and then you just instantly die to the death blow, to the bleed. I hate it so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you keep everything, including the keys. It's, it's fine. Exertions must be made scarce. After all, mm. appearances must be maintained. So everyone else is fine. Uh, we're gonna go for immediate stress relief. What can you do? We'll only flagellate. Can I upgrade? I need like another 40 busts to upgrade it for another slot. And this person is stuck in there, unfortunately. Do we have another Vestal? No. 
but we do have a Jester that we can get leveled up. So instead of having the Jester do Stress Relief, because he will also only flagellate, we're gonna have Gileoth the Vestal do Stress Relief. The Jester can go in here because it is free. Oh, no, he will only flagellate, never mind. Uh, you need, okay. You will only gamble. I don't really want you to gamble, so get rid of that, please. <laughs> Very expensive. And we'll probably go out on a mission and use the Jester so that they can get up to level six, and then when they're at level six, then they can go out on another mission to the uh, to the courtyard. And we need to do a mission with the Occultist to get them leveled up as well. Dude, that was uh, that was annoying. It's very annoying getting crit and then just bleeding to death, but it happens sometimes. I want this. I want the Ancestor's Handkerchief. Check the Crusader. Good point. There they are. Rescued, Fromen, level five Crusader. On guard, natural swing, balanced. Pretty good. We'll at least put him here. Oh, we have a highwayman. We have people. Purpose. They're high level. Warrior. Oh, heck yeah. That's really good luck, I think, including getting a new highwayman. Um, so, yes, mission. I would like, honestly, to get this ancestral handkerchief. It's gonna be really good on a flagellant because then they will never self-bleed with reclaim, and I kind of like that. Because that's that's a good heal ability to have on a flagellant. So I think we're gonna go for Ancestor's Handkerchief, Weld, Long Mission. We can take some level five units to this. You know, we can take an Occultist, we can take a Jester. We can take a backline Arbalist. And then we can take a frontline hitter, like Fromen. Fromen! On guard, natural swing. I think this could work pretty well. And if we if we equip him correctly, he can holy lance forward. Well, I want it like this. He can holy lance forward, and he can be like here in the third position slot. He'll holy lance. Ah, yeah, that, that should work. And then the Jester will be in the back and they can harvest and then Inspiring Tune. Could work. Could work. Who is Fromen going to be? I'll uh, figure out naming next time. For now though, I just kind of want to, I want to think about the party because I might not take him along on the mission. You know, I might consider other options like a Bounty Hunter, which I'm thinking I might actually like this more because if I take a Bounty Hunter, I get advantage from the Mark, and I can start him at the front and the Occultist can be in second position with access to Demon's Pull. So I actually kind of like this. We only have the one Occultist healer, but we do have an Arbalist with a Battlefield Bandage that they can use if they need to. So I actually kind of like this a little bit more. And if this is gonna be our mission, let's do Trinkets since we have a moment. We want plus healing skills, absolutely. We know that you're gonna have the Bright Tambourine. We know that you are going to have the... Dude, I like the uh, Demon, I like the Demon's Cauldron. Maybe instead of Junia's head, we would prefer to have the accuracy up for ranged units and the speed up. This thing here, Ancestor's Pistol, plus 15 accuracy on all of his abilities except for Sacrificial Stab, which we're not even gonna have. That seems pretty nice. That seems pretty good. And he gets a little bit of a speed bonus too. The Jester is going to have the Bright Tambourine and probably just like a Focus Ring. You're going to have the Crit and Damage and honestly, I mean, the Focus Ring probably. Accuracy and Crit V Marked. I'd rather give you 
yeah, the Ancestor's Musket Ball, you can take the... What is your... What, hold on. What's the difference between your accuracies? Oh man, Sniper's Mark is... Or Sniper Shot is very accurate. We don't need to give her an accuracy upgrade, I don't think. We can we can spread it around. You're going to take accuracy up. You're going to take damage up. So everyone has a way of improving their accuracy. Better damage on the Arbalist. Better damage on the Bounty Hunter. Better stunning and debuffing with the Occultist. Maybe I'd rather have the Vial of Sand, because it's a little bit more generically useful with the move as well. And then we don't have even more increased stress. And then the Jester with the Stress Relief. This seems like a pretty good party to take out to the Weld. I want the Handkerchief, we need money, and we need to wait a while for people to get Stress Relief in the Sanitarium and the Abbey because of the Courtyard Mission. Fighting the Crocodile seemed to have been the wrong move. <laughs> <laughs> that crocodile just killed one of my occultists with massive damage bleed and then I had no opportunity to respond to it because they just moved. And it's not like, what I really hate about it is it's not like I can take a bunch of holy waters and use them because you cannot use holy water on a unit that has a crimson curse. It actually gives them a debuff instead of a buff. So it's not like I could take that and then buff myself and then not take damage or not get bled. It doesn't work like that. It's it's annoying. But this squad should be fine in the weld. We'll do a mission there. Um, you need stress relief. You cannot get stress relief at all. And everyone else is set. 41 stress. That's worth it. Okay. So, for the next mission, we're going to go to the weld and... We're probably also going to have to sell trinkets for money. Let's do this first. That's pretty good. Um, let's sell trinkets for money first. Sort by rarity. Dump the disease charm. Dump the... Dump the paralyzer crest. I never take it on the crusader. Dump the stun amulet. We have better things. I never take Fasting Seal, but maybe I will at some point. Hold on, what what trinkets do you, you have? Is it better than this accuracy and crit at the expense of dodge? Yeah, we don't really need that much accuracy because her base accuracy is so good anyways. Okay, selling more trinkets. Berserk Charm. Usually you don't want to give negative accuracy at this point in the game. I'm going to remove it. Yes. Um, wounding helmet. You know what? We could take that instead of... Actually, I was going to say we could take that instead of the plus damage head, but that's on the Arbalist. So we don't need to get rid of that. Plus virtue chance, plus virtue chance. Minus stress if has Crimson Curse. That's just not very good. Plus speed and stun versus Bloodsuckers. That's not very good either. I think. So I'm going to sell it. And with 20,000 gold, we should be able to afford enough provisions for the next mission. Which is here. To get the Handkerchief. And to get money. And we'll have a healer. We'll have a stress reliever. We have a backup healer. Ah, we should... We should upgrade skills, hold up. Oh my god, it's gonna be so expensive. I, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. It's eight grand per unit, and then also the cost of skills. I will upgrade like one skill on everyone. Hearing problem, you're mostly gonna be doing sniper shot. You, you're mostly gonna be doing harvest. You, you're mostly gonna be doing a Honestly, your most important thing is probably finish him. You, your most important thing is probably the stun. And or the pull. I'm gonna go stun though. And I can't upgrade anyone in the blacksmith because it's just too damn expensive, but we will get it at some point. Okay. I think that basically just about covers it unless we need to also focus on camping skills which we have the correct camping skills set, which is nice. So, 
For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if you want to go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next mission in the Darkest Dungeon.